So why don't we start with a quick introduction? Sure, I'm uh, Chief Petit Officer Tom Mazad. I'm the Command Chief for the Royal Canadian Navy. Wonderful. Dans la vidéo d'aujourd'hui, je me suis entretenu avec le premier maître de première classe, Lizot, un ingénieur maritime qui travaille depuis 35 ans pour la Marine Royale Canadienne. Il nous raconte son histoire de cadette de la marine à soutier à bord de presque tous les types de navires canadiens. Étirez-vous avec nous et profitez-en. In today's video, I sat down with Chief Petty Officer First Class Lizot, a 35-year marine engineer with the Royal Canadian Navy. He shares his story from being a cadet to being a stoker aboard almost every type of Canadian ship there is. Stretch along with us and enjoy. Aimez cette vidéo et abonnez-vous à notre chaîne YouTube afin que vous sachiez exactement quand du nouveau contenu est disponible. Uh, so thank you for being here today. Uh, I thought maybe you could start by telling us a little bit about uh, your career and like why you chose the CAF and uh, how you became in your role today. Yeah, when I was a young teenager, mom and dad thought I needed a little bit of structure in my life. Okay. Um, so they took me down to the local Sea Cadet Corps and enrolled me in Sea Cadets. And you know, at first it wasn't a pleasurable experience, but I quickly grew to like it and I liked the camaraderie um, with the other group that's there. And, it was just a natural progression. I went through the Sea Cadet Corps. Uh, when I was 18, I had to leave, that's the maximum age, and I, uh, I joined the Naval Reserves, and then I thought, well, you know, I'm enjoying this so much. An opportunity came along where the uh, military would pay for three years of college uh, to go off to a Marine Institute. So I, I did that, and I became a Marine uh, Engineer, or Stoker, as we used to call them. Stoker. Okay. Yeah, and, and it's been uh, history since then. Right. And uh, have you uh, have you been? You, you've probably been on a, a few ships, and uh, and and t tell yeah. me a little bit about. Well, I've been on all cla every class ship we had, except for our tankers and our and our destroyers at the time, the the two eighties. Um, started out in steamers, uh, and then from steamers went to the CPF. So I was commissioning crew aboard HMCS Charlottetown, uh, and then you know sailed down to Costi, which was an ocean-going tugboat that we bought for uh, the Naval, Naval Reserves at the time. Uh, the Rake Force slowly took them back over and then I've uh, been sailing the, uh, the Halifax class ever since. Okay, and what, what was your, what would be your role like as a, as a stoker? What would that be? Yeah, kind of so like day to day? Day to day would be, you know, I'd see you know, mainly operating the propulsion plant and all the uh, ancillaries, all the hotels, normal stuff you would find uh, to support a city, you know, power, okay. water, sewage, you know, all those elements that, uh, you know, that, uh, would support life at sea. Um, so maintaining and operating those. So you know, doing the plan maintenance and any corrective maintenance when things break down. So you were the go-to person if somebody, something did yeah, break down. Yeah, so, well the I, department was, yeah. Or the department, yeah, okay, definitely, okay, yeah, yeah. great. And uh, and talking about just uh, like shift work and stuff like that, because you were in more of an important role, were there enough of you to kind of support being able to have a bit of balance while you're on a shift? Yeah, or so it's, it, we typically, you know, up until recent has, we did a different uh, watch rotation than what our combat operators and the rest of the ship did. We typically did either a one and three or one and four. Um, one and three, you, you, you work basically four hours on, had eight hours off, four hours on, kind of thing. Okay. You know, those type of rotations, you know, a uh, little different than that, but that's just to simplify it. Uh, or one and four where you had, you know, uh, four hours on, 12 hour break. Yes, you know? okay. So that was, that was advantageous for that the rest cycle. You know, you had some time. If you, the one and four rotation was really good for, you know, being able to, you know, de-stress, go out and do some, you know, PT, get outside out on the upper deck of the ship, get some fresh air, and plus get, you know, a solid eight hours of rest. Yes, okay, and, and that's a great segue to, to uh, talking about um, PT on a ship. Like, t tell me about the, the importance of PT, uh, the, the importance that was put on PT, perhaps when you were on a ship, and maybe the importance that PT has to you, personally. Yeah, so when I first joined the Navy, um, you know, especially in the early days, in the 80s, PT wasn't a, a priority for sure. It wasn't a lot of, uh, you know, there wasn't a lot of uh, relevance put on that. Uh, people worked out wherever they could um, on the old steamers. There really wasn't anything. People brought their own equipment for right. the most part. Um, you know, if you fast forward to today, you know, the ships that we're building now, the Arctic Offshore Patrol boats, we're building a dedicated space that has a dedicated, you know, quite a nice gym facility in it. You know, and for me, PT, um, I find doing PT at sea much easier than trying to fit it in ashore. Okay. Because I'm at sea, I'm, I, I'm captured there kind of thing, right? So right. I, I work the engine routine, my routine pretty easy. Uh, come back ashore, I find it more difficult, 
you know, to, to, to find the time to go to PT. Right, okay. Just because of uh, like your, your schedule here? Yeah, work-life like, like, balance, yeah. Work-life balance, just, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, and it's you know probably my own fault too, because I know my boss would be more than happy to drag me to the gym when he goes, because <laughs> he's an avid uh, you know, gym guy. And what time, what time does uh, the Kraken usually head to the gym? Well, I usually get to work at 7, and he's just finished his routine, so he's probably okay. there quite early. And <laughs> okay. A lot of times he'll bike or run to work, which, you know. Right. Yeah. And that's not something you'd want to join him doing, or I guess maybe maybe you guys wouldn't be able to meet up at a, at a yeah no something he, that would he make would sense. outpace me he'd be gone okay okay yeah. <laughs> et, et uh, ok et dites moi dites moi l'impact que le PT ou le, le uh, conditionnement physique a sur toi comme quand tu le fais comment tu te sens uh, pour moi uh, c'est très important pour les, les stress oui et, et... Pour moi aussi, c'est un, un, un temps en mer euh, pour les socialisations. Oui, euh, absolument. Avec, avec une équipe, c'est très bien pour ça. Oui, c'est bien pour, euh, pour établir plus de travail d'équipe ou de plus d'esprit. Et les interactions de les, de les personnes de, 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 de l'autre département. Oui, ok. okay. D'habitude, je travaille avec mon équipe, et ah, avec, okay. euh, avec les ingénieurs. Et c'est une, une opportunité de... de d'interagir avec des, des autres membres de l'équipe en mer. Oui, et c'est important, comme oui, que vous, vous dormez dans les mêmes chambres, même si vous n'êtes pas... Je dormais avec des ingénieurs. Ok, ok. Oui. Alors c'est d'habitude avec de, la même euh, occupation. Ok, alors c'est c'est pas c'est pas comme tout mixé, c'est tout euh, à, à cause de vos rotations. Oui. Ça? Ouais, oui. Ok. Oui. Ok, cool. Tell me your thoughts on the balance strategy. Yeah, the balance strategy. You know. Um, We we need to in, we need to incorporate that more into our daily life and on sea especially. I think we've done a, a better job at the, the the food on board ship, the meals that we we yes. are serving today compared to what it was 10, 15 years ago. Let's the balance, legs. you know, um, you know, I, I don't. I would challenge you to find a better a better meal anywhere right now. I was um, just going to say. So that's an important part of the balance strategy is having the right food, um, you know, and then. As we was talked about, we're, we're working hard to try to figure out the proper rest cycle because within the balance, you know, it's important for that regeneration, yes. um, that rest. So yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And uh, what would you say is your favorite uh, is your favorite meal aboard? Thursday nights has got to be the best. Thursday nights yeah, and what? Steak night. Steak night. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they yeah, have steak, steak and yeah. poke balls. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> yeah, and Saturday's not. I think bad. I'm going to join the pizza. Navy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So, That's crazy. We usually have some traditional, you know, meals like that. Like usually, always on Thursdays is steak night, and Saturdays is always pizza night. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, lastly, I would like to know your thoughts on the new recruitment uh, program. Yeah. So the Naval Experience Program that we just launched, uh, the Navy just launched back in in the spring. You know, I think it's an outstanding opportunity for those individuals that really want to understand or get a taste of what the Navy's like to see if it's for them. Um, we have a lot of occupations in the Navy that make no sense in the civilian world. Like okay. you talk about what a sonar op does or what an ESOP or a NAC op does and you know people would have no idea. So it's a good opportunity for someone that doesn't really know, maybe has an interest in the Navy, um, maybe has an interest in, an, in a bit of an adventure. Yes. Um, comes join us, try us out for a year, you know, and if you find something you're passionate about and you like, you know, we'll, uh, we'll sign you up and you can make a a long career like you know I have 35 years almost completed in, in the Navy. Wow congratulations it's been, and yeah, all it's, Navy. Yeah it's all Navy. Yes. It's, been, it's been a great career and I would uh, you know if the Admiral let me I would re-enroll in, in the Naval Experience Program and do it all over again. <laughs> right do it all over yeah. again nice. I'm still young enough I think. Absolutely yeah. absolutely <laughs> and as you know as they say age is but a number. Age is but a number. Yeah. yeah. Uh, lastly on, on a less serious note um, Do you, do you personally have a, uh, or, sorry, maybe not personally, but does your position hold a certain uh, nickname that we're allowed to say on camera? Yeah, no, not, not that I'm aware of. You know? <laughs> um, I'm sure I, a lot of people have nicknames for me in particular, yes, but okay. uh, nothing I'm going to you know, re, you know, reveal on camera here. Right, right, <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for no, your thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work and your service. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know exactly when new content is coming your way.